Hello. If we are at war with coronavirus and the governmental politicians mostly hunkered in their bunkers are the equivalent of quizlings, despite the Johnson Churchillian bombast of EE Day rhetoric, rather than a victory, it's been a defeat equivalent to the ignominious surrender of Singapore or the slaughter on the Somme. The carnage in old people's care homes could have been avoided. One crime among many. The lies, bluster, outright mendacity of government spokesmen is churned out on a daily basis, along with their unbelievable, overwhelming arrogance. 1920 Chicago mobsters have more honesty and integrity than our government. While public schools will remain firmly closed, the government are preparing to experiment using herd immunity with their desire to reopen primary schools for children of the working class. The lower echelons of the workforce are expected to gear themselves for a return to C-19 infested transport, danger-ridden workplaces, mostly in the name of work discipline rather than economic sense. The top posses will be absent, teeing off on the golf courses. MPs consider themselves too valuable to risk returning to the green benches. Given what's to come, there's already talk of an inquiry sometime in the future to determine blame. Remember Grenville, it will never come to fruition. If it's a war, a war, then those responsible should be tried as war criminals for the disasters already perpetrated and the atrocities to come. As far as I'm concerned, the verdict is already in. They need to appear before a revolutionary tribunal. If this is not forthcoming, these criminals will be re-elected again. The choice is that stark. Bye.